This is a seven-year-old laptop that I bought from a gentleman on Facebook Marketplace for just over $200. Today, we're gonna put it through its paces and see how it performs with light day-to-day -day tasks such as web browsing and content consumption and heavier tasks such as video editing, music production, and even gaming. Let's see how this 2015 MacBook Air holds up, shall we? Ah yes, the MacBook Air, what a classic. I had a machine just like this growing up in middle school and high school, so I've got a lot of nostalgia for these things. It was this very model of machine that I started editing videos for this YouTube channel on and also started producing much of my own music on one of these things. With such lovely memories of this machine, I wanted to take a look back and see if it might still be worth using today in 2022, first starting with some day-to-day -day tasks. This MacBook is still supported by the latest version of macOS, Monterey. And because of that, this MacBook still retains most of the new features that newer Macs are getting. However, I do suspect that this will be the last major software update that this machine receives. I guess only time will tell. Opening simple apps such as Finder, Calendar, and Telegram is quick enough, and interacting with these apps is, dare I say, snappy? The keyboard and trackpad are great ways to interact with this laptop. The keyboard is refreshingly responsive and tactile, with nice key travel and good spacing. This keyboard is far better than the ones that Apple started putting in their laptops just a year later with the 2016 MacBook Pros, those awful butterfly keyboards. Thankfully, they are starting to back down from those nowadays, though. The trackpad on this laptop is a highlight. The smooth glass surface supports multi-touch gestures and scrolling, and in my opinion, it feels better than the trackpads on many brand new Windows laptops today. Opening heavier applications such as Google Chrome does lead to a little bit of slowdown, especially when compared to a modern Mac such as my main machine, this M1 iMac. However, once the app is fully loaded in, web browsing is quite a pleasant experience. Scrolling is smooth with the trackpad and pages load in relatively quickly. YouTube supports full HD playback and the videos play without buffering much at all, which is great. One weak point of the experience though are the speakers. It wasn't until a few years later when Apple would truly have mastered their laptop speakers. Here on this MacBook Air, they sound tinny and muffled, lacking both much high and low end at all, really just lacking clarity in general. In spite of this, the MacBook Air still holds up very well for basic computer tasks. And because of the nature of having Mac OS and full window management, I prefer using this compared to something like an iPad. Now onto some more difficult tasks, first starting with video editing. To see just what the video editing experience is like on a seven-year-old laptop, I edited this entire video on this laptop. So let's check in and see how that's been going for me, shall we? So here we are. Um, it's much later in the day now. I've been editing this video. I'm about, you know, just a few minutes into the edit here. So far, everything has been good. The laptop seems to handle maybe just like one or two streams of 1080p video with minimal effects and things on it just fine. Um, I feel like when I add anything more complex, we do start to get some slowdown, but generally speaking, my scrubbing is fine. I can play and it's responsive enough. Let's just scale the clip and you can see it's very responsive, just fine. Honestly, for basic video editing in Final Cut Pro, this thing seems to rock it. So uh, overall, yeah, good feedback from me. All right, moving on. The next task I wanted to try on this laptop is creating music in Logic Pro 10. I've been creating music in Logic for years, and my main machine, this M1 iMac, runs all of my projects like a dream. So let's see how they run on this machine. Okay, here we are. This will give us a good opportunity to listen to the speakers too. The speakers are really bad. I mean, it seems to be fine. Oh, 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 I have an idea, I have an idea. This might crash it. Color me impressed. Look at all these tracks. We have no control. Okay. Moving on. 
I'm trying to see if I can find a section in one of these songs that will get it to the overload, but so far, let's see how this goes over. But I cannot run, I'm haunted by... Oh, system overload, system overload. Okay, so we crashed it there. Let's try again. Let's see if we can iron it and get through. Can I run? I'm haunted by myself. <laughs> Just played completely incorrectly. That's not how it was supposed to sound. Let's see how it does with the instrumental at the end. That's wrong. Let's try here. Ooh, really crunchy. Okay, so clearly not the most powerful thing in the world considering that crashed it. The laptop is also warm right now. But you know what? For my usage and music production, if I wanted to take this to like a coffee shop or something, go out, draft, produce some ideas, something like that, you know? Overall, pretty good news. Honestly, better than I expected for music production. Now on to gaming. All right, so uh, let's test some gaming on this machine now, shall we? I installed Windows 11 on this machine after running a batch file inside of my Windows 10 install that I was able to install via bootcamp. All that being said, I did get Windows 11 running on this machine and that's what we're going to be testing with today. With just a dual core 1.6 gigahertz Intel Core i5, 8 gigabytes of DDR3 RAM and Intel HD Graphics 6000, I don't expect this machine to be pushing around many pixels. But I want to give it a try just for kicks and giggles. I, th to be completely honest with you, this is the part of the video I've been the most excited for. So let's let's give it a try. So you can see I have my gaming peripherals. I got my my um, my nice mechanical keyboard and my Logitech mouse ready to rock and roll. Um, the first game I want to give a try on here is is a classic. Truly a classic. Look at these pets. I got that. Look at this unicorn right here. Running at a, we're running at smooth 60 all day. Okay, so we're a little, we're dropping frames here in the comments. Again, I think it's because it's loading stuff over here. You see that? I think it's because it's loading, downloading stuff. Oh, all right. Ice Scarab. All right, strong Cyclops with the trap. This guy only has 135 health. We're gonna deal so much health right now. Oh, yeah. Oh, he's so dead. He's dead. He died. He's dead. I won. So overall, Wizard 101, totally positive experience on the 2015 MacBook Air. The next test I want to play is a game that I know for a fact I played on this MacBook back in the day. Minecraft. First, let's test multiplayer performance. Uh-oh. Oh, God. The high pixel hub is not doing so good. Slowly, easy does it. Oh, you know what? Okay, we are probably running around 60 frames now from the look of it. Yeah, we are hovering right at 60. So I think, I think similar to Wizard 101, once the game loaded in and fully set in and that fan came on and started pulling things off, is totally playable. Not as good as the Wizard 101. Wizard 101 can run on like a potato though, but this, the latest version of Minecraft, again, no Optifine, no nothing. Five chunks is not much, but you know what? This is playable. Yeah, so, okay. Minecraft, playable, also playable. But what if we took this one step further? Actually, this is probably more than one step further. How about Overwatch? Nothing happened. Oh, I got a black screen with a mouse. It's the Overwatch mouse. Can't get back into the game. <laughs> Come on. No, I'm not getting anything. Okay. I'm gonna close that and try again. Uh oh, I can't. There's two of them. I can't right click anymore. Right click is, is gone now. I can't. Okay, Control Alt Delete. I cannot see the task manager. I can't quit out of the game. This is gonna be difficult. Oh, here's Overwatch. It's in a window though. Why is it in a window like that? Why is it windowed? Why is it windowed? <laughs> All right, we're in Overwatch. Entering game. Um, we will try again. Guys, I've been here for like a half an hour. I swear to God. 
Now it's time to play some Overwatch, for real. I'm gonna get Overwatch to work on this computer. Overwatch, opening once again in windowed mode. Why? I don't know. Uh. Uh. What do you mean not responding? This is responding just fine. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, 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 oh! The menu! Practice range, get me into a game, get me in. <gasps> oh, yes! Hang on, hang on. Hey, I'm in the game! I'm in the game! <laughs> Yo! Why were the menus so laggy if this is not the worst? Yeah, so we're not hitting 60 ever, but we're somewhere in the neighborhood of 30 to 50. Look at this, the menu works fine now. Let's just put me in as, as anything. I'm probably gonna get yelled at. Okay, I'm so scared. I've never been more scared for a game of Overwatch in my life. You know who else is playing this game on the Mac right now? Any of the people I'm against? None of them. Holy. Bro, this game runs so bad. Get in the point, dude. Yeah, this is rough. So, I think, I think the Switch version of Overwatch plays better than this. Even with mouse and keyboard. Oh, God. Okay. Okay, bye. Okay, bye-bye. Well, that was fun. Glad I will never do that again. Thank you so much for watching today's video. If you enjoyed, make sure to subscribe for more. I post videos almost every Wednesday. Thank you once again for watching, and I will see you very soon. Peace.